Over the past 75 years, the development of vaccines, antibiotics, and new drugs, as well as improved hygiene, has allowed this unprecedented reduction in infectious disease. And this really has correlated with the incredible growth of human populations that we've seen. One of the challenges is that mirroring the sharp decline in the incidence of infectious diseases, there's also been this alarming surge in autoimmune and allergic disorders. In the 1990s, scientists began to suspect that these two trends were connected, with the idea that perhaps the reduction in infections was causing the human immune system to malfunction in some way. And we're now finding out that this is indeed the case. The problem really lies in the fact that when we combat microbes, we usually are not selective. And what the problem here is, is that we're not just fighting off the pathogens. The problem becomes that we're starting to kill off a lot of the microbes that live within us. And some of these microbes are really important for our health. So the, the reason behind why we don't want to get rid of the good microbes or the neutral microbes is really going to be the topic uh, of, uh, of the next few minutes. And I've, one of the things that uh, has been uh, really discovered over the past 50 years is how our microbiota is really a microbial ecosystem. Uh, we have uh, inside us and on us uh, tens of trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. And these make up what we call our microbiota. So our microbiota is really the microbes that are associated uh, with us as humans. And they are really important for our health. And not only are there so many, they also come in a lot of different bacterial species. Each one of us has hundreds of different of these species. And you may wonder why we actually need the microbiota. And there's a lot of different reasons why. First of all, we need them because they help digest our food. Depending on your diet, they can make up a, a really large fraction of our caloric intake. We have also evolved with these systems and they really help us regulate our immune system. Importantly, they also protect us against pathogens. And this is not really out of any type of generosity, at least that we know of. Rather by the fact that because of ecological principles, they actually occupy some of the niches that uh, once they're filled, they will keep the invaders out. They also produce vitamins that are really important for our health. Uh, some examples here are vitamin B, K, or riboflavin. One of the things that is really exciting for us in terms of setting these systems is how diverse they are and how many genes they have. So the microbiota, the collection, has this incredible functionality. They have over 150 times the number of genes that we do, and so they can potentially have many more functions. And I'll tell you now why this matters. When you think about what happens when you take a pill by mouth is that the compounds get released into our gut and they make it through our entire body. The microbiota produces compounds that go into our bloodstream the same way just by crossing the intestinal barrier and making it into our blood system. So the microbially produced products can really affect uh, anything from our gut uh, to our brain to neurodegeneration to really all of the normal processes that happen uh, inside us humans. And importantly, microbes also modify and respond to specific drugs. There's a lot of evidence now, uh, for example, how different people, depending on their microbiota, can have different response to uh, cancer uh, response therapy. They will modify the tumor microenvironment and they will affect the way that certain drugs are able to work or not. There's also, of course, uh, effects in IBD as well. Even the response to biologics uh, is stratified based, in, based on the underlying microbiota. And importantly, who is part of our microbiota dictates what drugs are changed and what bacterial products will end up getting into our blood. In turn, what dictates who is there is dependent on, on what we feed ourselves and therefore how we feed our microbes. <clears throat> 